Good evening. Welcome to St. Francis Episcopal Church to this service of remembrance and thanksgiving for the life of Dr. Hadi Bahar, Hadi's son, Philip, who will begin our time together by offering some remembrances. Good evening. Dr. Bahar, Dr. Bahar, Hadi, Papa, Grandpapa, Papa June. He lived life to the end with a passion for learning, family, and friends. And side by side with Laurel, his wife and soulmate for over 45 years. Those of us who loved him most know that she was the backbone of his life and his family. She was his playful accomplice and the co-host of countless dinners, teas, readings, and performances. And without her by his side, his endless curiosity and exploration of music, art, medicine, and poetry would have been impossible. And during those final weeks together at home, the love they had shone through on a daily basis. And all of you in this room are part of his wide extended family, both literally and figuratively. We have one of his four sisters with us, many of his nephews, including Jorge, who lived with Papa and Laurel and supported all of us over the last year, and who are forever grateful to Jorge. All of his children are here, including Madeline's powerful memory, and many, many grandchildren and more on the way. And anyone who knew Papa understands he was constantly bringing friends and family together for study and celebration. And each of you, whether you were part of the St. Francis community, Laurel and the family's spiritual home, whether you were a Persian cousin, whether you were a Persian cousin, or a friend who knew him from Poetry Club or the Nordstrom Coffee Clatch, or a Persian cultural event, or the Iranian American Community Center Parse Place, where he was so proud to receive a Lifetime Service Award this last year, or whether you were recruited to spend time with him speaking in Italian, German, Spanish, French, Farsi, or occasionally Russian and Japanese. You were all part of his family, and he loved his friends with a passion most reserved only for their closest confidants and family. So as we remember Papa, let's think not only of the man, the companionship, and the inspiration, and the friendships he brought to so many of us here today. Let's also remember all of the photographs. All of the photographs. The plethora of photographs, the walls of photographs, the albums of photographs, the shelves of photographs. Photos of all of us in this room, the people he loved and wanted to spend his time with and who, who he blessed with, with his life. All of those images now are markers of our time together with Papa, and the moments we've spent with him will live on alongside those many images. So we love you, Papa. Your memory is a blessing. Thank you. Muj Bihar, Hadi's cousin, will share a poem. Good afternoon. Um, those of you that knew Hadi knew that his life was filled with poetry, so we thought to honor his memory with a poem by Ahmad Shamlu, translated with, by Zora Hushmand. Searching for you on foothills of mountains, on thresholds of oceans and meadows, I cry. Searching, searching for you in windy passes, I cry at the crossroads of seasons in the weathered wood of a broken window frame that contains a cloud-stained sky. Looking for your portrait in this book. In this empty book, how long, how long will pages keep turning? 
to embrace the flow of wind and love, who is sister to death. Eternity has shared with you this secret, and so you have taken the shape of a treasure, earned and enviable, another kind of treasure, which claiming the earth, these lands in this way, has made the heart embrace them. Your name is a white dawn that passes over the sky's brow. Blessed be your name. And so we repeat the round of night and day in this way, even now. Marcie, be jostejuj to bar dargah ku migeriam. در آستانه دریا و علف به جستجوی تو در معبر بادها می گریم در چهار راه فصول در چهارچوب شکسته پنجره ای که آسمان ابرالوده را قابی کهنه می گیرد به انتظار تصویر تو این دفتر خالی تا چند تا چند ورق خواهد زد جریان باد را پذیرفتن و عشق را که خواهر مرگ است و جاودانگی رازش را با تو در میان نهاد پس به هیئت گنجی در آمدی بایسته و آزنگیز گنجی از آن دست که تملک خاک را و دیاران را از این سال دلپذیر کرده است نامت سپید دمی است که در بر پیشانی آفتاب میگذرد متبرک باد نام تو و ما همچنان دوره میکنیم شب را و روز را هنوز را Let us stand and sing together hymn 488 in the blue hymnal The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord will not cast off forever. Though he cause grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. 
the Lord does not willingly afflict or grieve his children. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend our brother Hadi Bahar, as into the hands of a faithful creator and most loving Savior. In your infinite goodness, wisdom, and power, work in him the merciful purpose of your perfect will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Honor the physician with the honor due him, according to your need of him, for the Lord created him. For healing comes from the Most High, and he will receive a gift from the king. The skill of the physician lifts up his head, and in the presence of great men he is admired. The Lord created medicines from the earth, and a sensible man will not despise them. Was not water made sweet with the tree in order that his power might be known? And he gave skill to men that he might be glorified in his marvelous works. By them he heals and takes away pain. The pharmacist makes of them a compound. His work will never be finished, and from his health is upon the face of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks. We stand to sing the hymn the hymn number is 635, hymn 635. reading from the Gospel of St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That way I am you may be also, and you know the way where I'm going. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Psalm 23, please join me, a psalm from David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. 
He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right paths, pathways for his name's sake. Yo, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. And he gave skill to men that he might be glorified in his marvelous works. By them he heals and takes away pain. Ecclesiasticus chapter 38, verses 6 and 7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I come from a small town in western Maryland, and one of the first times I met Hadi, he told me about beginning his career as an internist among my people, two hours west of here in Cumberland. Cumberland, you might say, is both in the same state as Potomac and also in another world. It's poor and fairly cut off from the outside. People still use homespun phrases that can baffle visitors. But the cultural gap you would find today was surely much wider 50 years ago when this urbane, highly cultured, internationally educated Iranian man took out his stethoscope to tend to his new charges. I know there were a few humorous mishaps and probably a fair amount of prejudice that Hadi was too gracious to mention to me. People from my corner of the world tend to be stubborn and cautious in talking about their problems, especially with outsiders. But there was something about Hadi that drew them to him, despite all that. His broad smile, perhaps, certainly his deep knowledge and clear judgment. Hadi learned his patient stories, listened to their troubles, perfected his own ways of sharing good news and bad. In time, they gave him their trust. I expect there are still a few old timers on the slopes of Savage Mountain that speak with gratitude about that special doctor with the funny name who helped them in their time of need so many decades ago. Hadi would, of course, go on to a distinguished career here in the Washington, D.C. area to further studies in the challenging field of nuclear medicine. Because he was an internist, he saw it all. People with all kinds of medical conditions from a great variety of backgrounds. Hadi was the first point of contact, the only doctor who ever really knew the whole story, the one who had to make some of the toughest calls. People knew that he cared for them, that he would give their needs his full attention. He would remain alongside them, no matter what trials may lay ahead. There's something sacred about that kind of relationship. It's easy for people who are skeptical about other aspects of the religious project to trust that if there is a God, he must surely be the source of healing behind the work of a good doctor. That's a key insight from the passage from Ecclesiasticus that Hadi's family chose for this service and that Martin read for us a few moments ago. The passage is part of the book's most beautiful section, an extended meditation on those who practice different occupations. Doctors, lawyers, priests, artisans, they all get a mention for the specific ways that God uses them to bless their communities. But the author, Jesus Ben Sirach was his name, he saves his best lines for the physicians. One doesn't need to read so far in the book to figure out that he was an old man with his fair share of aches and pains, as well as a wife who never stopped talking. No wonder Ben Sirach loved his doctor. 
a learned person who would listen to him and then give him some advice, maybe compound a medicine to soothe his sufferings. Pray to the Lord for healing, but be sure to go see the doctor, he tells his readers. The physician is God's agent for your healing. His skills make men rejoice and give thanks to God for his mercy. Hadi was, of course, a man of science, dedicated to careful research and keeping up to date with the latest developments in his field. But surely he must have sometimes wondered at the kinds of healing that happened in the lives of those under his care. He saw people come out on the other side of life-threatening ordeals and find unexpected peace when there was little more to be done for them. I never asked him about it, but I'd be surprised if there weren't a few times when he felt God was working through his knowledge and skill. And of course, many of the things that made him such a wonderful doctor also helped him to be a loving husband and father, a trusted friend, and a distinguished leader in the Iranian-American community. There was always something to learn from his deep stores of knowledge, and his sound judgment made him a good person to ask for advice, but also the warm smile and the good humor, the trust he fostered so naturally through his attentiveness and reliability. These were blessings to so many of you, and they will be deeply missed. Hadi was not a member of our church, though he was deeply supportive of Laurel, who has been a key leader in our congregation over so many decades. Still, I see the work of God in Hadi's life. There's a passage at the beginning of St. John's Gospel which speaks of God's Son, he who became flesh in the man Jesus Christ, as the light that enlightens every man that comes into the world. I see that light shining brightly in Hadi's wisdom and compassion, his insight into the needs of others, his ethic of service. I praise God for it, and I pray that God will continue to draw Hadi closer to himself in the life that lies beyond the grave. And for Laurel and his children and grandchildren, and so many who loved him and will miss him, I pray that God will bring peace and encouragement in the ways that you most need. You have been blessed to share your lives with him, and now you will carry forward the light that burned within him in so many ways in the days to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For our brother Hadi, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Hadi and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. 
You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our brother. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our brother Hadi. We thank you for giving him to us, his family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us quiet confidence that we may continue our course in faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us stand and sing the hymn 680. Hadi's family invites you to join them for a time of fellowship after the service in St. Francis Hall, which is uh, the hall to the left as you're looking forward uh, straight through the doors off of the patio. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. The Son of Righteousness is gloriously risen, giving light to those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death. The Lord will guide our feet into the way of peace, having taken away the sin of the world. To all who believe in him, come, O blessed is my Father, inherit 
kingdom prepared for you. The angels coming, may the martyrs receive you and bring Thank you.